hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with three really interesting things one of which you already know the raspberry pi 4 which i've got right over here and we have done quite a few projects here on the channel but i'm not really sure if you know the compute module 4 or this expansion board for the raspberry pi 4 if you don't just stay tuned because i will try to explain what we can do with these gadgets right over here which are really cool by the way this video is sponsored by cdkeysales.com which we have tried to test out how to purchase on a budget a windows 11 windows 10 key or even a office 2021 which was a really easy activation and i will leave a link down below with a coupon code so that you can have a discount if you are looking for a key now getting back to the point what we have right over here is the compute module 4 now this is basically exactly or more or less the same as the raspberry pi 4 and it is the same but it's not exactly the same in terms of performance in terms of uh, power is exactly the same as the raspberry pi 4 because this is a raspberry pi 4 in a different format if closer look we can see some uh resembles right over here between the two and the main difference right over here is that the raspberry pi 4 already has all the connections usb as we know and this one doesn't have any connection with the exception of the back where it has the connection to connect to one of these expansion boards and there are quite a few this one right over here i will leave a link down below it is targeted to give us the freedom to do our own router installing a software which is OpenWRT and probably you already have heard about this name it is a great software and I did test it out works great it also works great with any other software that it's available for the Raspberry Pi I also tested out just out of curiosity with Linux and yes it works really nice so this is one of the expansion boards that we have available in terms of this in particular in terms of connectivity it's designed to replace a router or to increase your security over your network we have two Ethernet ports right over here a micro SD card one HDMI size and a USB type C for power and also a USB 2.0 so if we compare in terms of connectivity with the regular Raspberry Pi it's different it's more limited in terms of USB and so on and so forth but it is targets at a router so it has two LAN ports or Ethernet ports right over here on the other hand I'm not aware of any router that has HDMI so that can be a powerful router that we have right over here in terms of the board itself or the installation of the um, compute model for it's also very easy we just need to unscrew this four screws right over here on this heat sink remove the heat sink and then put in the compute model 4 then we just need to screw it back now we have the option because it comes with the expansion board this thermal paste right over here but i did my test without the thermal paste and it dissipates the heat without any issues whatsoever so if i'm looking for a different kind of usage for the raspberry pi 4 the compute module for it is a great option i've seen it in the past in pictures and so on and so forth but this was the first time that i had a chance to use it with an expansion board and the beauty of the compute model 4 is that instead of being limited with this kind of connection we can choose this board right over here which is an expansion board but if tomorrow i need to do another project which is completely different from a router then i can just grab the boards and just replace my compute model 4 and i have a different project so i can use this it's not exactly the same but as a cpu and then just selecting the kind of board that i want place it in and boom there we go we have a raspberry pi 4 but with different connections and different useful case scenarios so if you search for expansion boards for the raspberry pi or the compute model 4 you'll find a lot of info but of course i will leave links for all these down below so that you guys can check out see the guides but are really easy i did follow a guide to install open wrt but basically just flash an image and then we put the micro sd as we would with any operating system for the raspberry pi once we have just boot it in 
and in a couple of uh, minutes I would say or seconds yeah minutes probably I was with access of the router itself basically I just needed to know which IP address I had on the router right over here and after that I could control my network as I wanted and guys basically this is it if you find the video useful don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.